as will Yong Zi Ying from SNK Kenwa Saba. 16-year-old Avril Yong Zi Ying couldn't hide her joy and disbelief. The eloquent SMJK Ken Hua student from Keningau Sabah was among the country's best young essayists who made their schools proud at the Sunway Oxbridge Essay Competition prize-giving ceremony on July 27. I'm the only Sabahan in this competition and there's only one Sarawakian and to be the top two and to be a Sabahan, to represent my state, that is the highest honour I can get and to make my school proud, that, that, has, that is beyond merits and to make my family proud, to make my clan proud, that is above any other grace I can ever ask for. Avril, along with Asfa Nisha Bashir Ali from SMK Section 4 Banda Kinrara, will join second prize winners for Category B of the competition. The nationwide writing competition for secondary students saw winners taking home Sunway bursaries, cash and Sunway Pals loyalty card points worth over 230,000 ringgit. Category A first prize winner Ariana Saifu from College Yayasan Saad said her winning essay was about her vision for Malaysia. Ariana will walk away with 5,000 ringgit cash sponsored by Sunway. And I especially think that the older generation should stop discriminating against the younger generations. And I feel like this whole competition just proves that individuals who even though they have a young age, for example me, 15 years old, I can still have opinions on things about Malaysia. I can still um, have the path I have the willingness to go and achieve great things in life. The competition was organised by Sunway Group, the Oxford and Cambridge Society Malaysia, Jeffrey Chia Foundation, Sunway University and Monash University Malaysia with support from Sunway Pals. Sunway Education Group CEO Elizabeth Lee said a total of 382 schools participated in the competition this year. As such, we are very elated to have almost 3,000 entries this year, which means that 3,000 lives uh, are being impacted because they took the effort to write an essay and they took the effort to try to improve their English as they were making their submissions. So that in, in itself would help them improve and not only that, build their own confidence in English language usage. Once again, the winners of the Sunday the Education Ministry's English Language Teaching Centre Director Farah Madi Aman agreed with Lee and commended Sunway in helping participants learn beyond the confines of a classroom. She also called on more corporations to do the same in helping youths become globally competitive and holistic individuals.